Hello guys, welcome to this video. We're doing another race on Daily Race C this week at Sardegna Road Track B2, the world's shortest ever Daily Race C. And this time we're gonna start from the back of the grid, see how much, uh, <laughs> how many positions we can make up in the very short race that it is. Um, we finished our last race in under 12 minutes, so we haven't got long at all, it's only eight laps. Let's see how we get on. So you may have seen my previous video in which we started from the front of the grid. So now we're starting from the back. Now it's a very long start finish straight here. So we're just going to forward to turn one, which is very, very tricky on cold tires as the two cars ahead find out straight away then. So two easy positions. Thank you very much. And um, we're up into 14th place already. We obviously weren't quite at the complete back of the grid because I think there were uh, three or four cars who had also not set a time and we just happened to be the first of those cars. So down the hill then we can see a Scirocco up ahead. No, that's not a Scirocco at all. That is a Megan, but the FF Megan. So uh, he's had a, a terrible exit then and we're going to get the run on him going up the hill. We are in the Scirocco once again, of course, and into the long left-hander then, and that's another position gained. So up to 13th place then, unlucky for some, but not for us, just that car up ahead who ends up in the gravel and gives us another place then. So that's up to 12th. There's a nice uh, waddle of cars up ahead, and we're just gonna fast forward then as we start to make progress towards them. Let's see then, down into turn one, is anyone gonna make the same mistake on lap number two and yes we get two cars do exactly the same mistake there so that's one place nice and easily and then can we do anything about the Scirocco here yep he's on the dirty tyre so he runs wide and that gives us another place so up to 10th here we are going to have to go defensive though as we go into this corner at the bottom of the hill and then we come out of there nicely and get that move done as well so up to 10th place then and let's see if we can make a little bit of progress up to that group ahead. We can see they're battling, uh, looking side by side, going up the hill then. So we should be able to gain quite a bit of time into this corner. But we do run a little bit wide then, but we're able to get on the power nice and early. And then through the right-hander again, we run a little bit wide, getting a bit distracted with what's going on up ahead. The Audi going off there. He moves to the left-hand side and hits us. I'm not sure. Maybe he thought we were going to the right, so he was trying to give us space there. I'm not too sure. I don't think it was anything deliberate, so we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt at this point. I'm not too sure. But anyway, on to the start-finish straight once again then. It was, of course, very long, so we're going to forward it to the end of the straight. It looks like they're side-by-side -side up ahead. Is anyone going to make the same mistake yet again? through turn one and no everyone sort of gets through quite cleanly uh, the Audi up ahead does put a wheel on the grass but gets away with that without problem as do we and then again he's going a little bit wide there kind of uh, starts snaking the car a little bit but gets away with it and as we see a French driver there um, who's had an accident and that's another position gain so we're now up into eighth place on lap number three Let's see if we can start to pick up this toe of the Audi now. I think he's probably still just about getting a slipstream off the car that's in front of him. So we might struggle to go for a move here. And he, yeah, he takes a lot of speed in the corner and goes nice and defensive up the inside. So we're unable to do anything there, but we do get a better run on him coming out of the corner, but that does leave us on the outside for the next one. So we're unable to do anything there either. Let's see then as we go down into the last last couple of corners. Let's see if we can maybe go for a move up the inside. But no, we're not really close enough. But then he, he loses the rear. And just as he does that, we get an absolute send done on us from behind. He forces his way through there and we're down to ninth place. So two cars up ahead. We can, are we going to make this three wide? No, I don't think so. I think the best thing for us to do is try and push this VW through. And that gives us the outside for turn one, but critically the inside for turn two. So the Audi sort of starts turning in. I don't think he realised we were there. Um, but now he does get up our inside here and he gets that move done once again then. So we're unable to make any progress through this couple of corners. The French driver looking like he's gone very deep there, but he does get away with it. The Audi 
clips the gravel on the outside, but unfortunately we can't do anything about that as we have a Scirocco looking towards the inside of us going down the hill and both myself and the car in front end up going a little bit wide. It's getting very, very hectic in this midfield battle now. And looking up the hill then, can we look to make a move into the long right-hander? I don't think we're quite close enough, but the Audi kind of goes in a bit deep, leaves the door open on the inside then and ends up a bit wide so we get that move done and then going into the right hander he decides to absolutely send it but gets some instant karma and ends up in the gravel and we stay in ninth place as the green VW then gets ahead of the both of us so are we able to do anything into turn or I don't know what turn it is the, the final corner we're not we get quite a good exit then but unfortunately we do put one wheel on the gravel so that does slow us down as we come out the final corner but we're going to pick up the toe then the Scirocco in front definitely doesn't have a toe from anyone else we try a little switchback move here to try and get the uh, that outside preferable outside line uh, into turn one but unfortunately I don't think he quite realized what we were doing there uh, just gives us a little nudge and we both survive so going through this complex of right corners then we have dropped back just a little bit from that bit of contact and we're going to have to see if we can catch up but we do seem quite a lot faster than a lot of the other cars in this race this is a uh, uh, early on a Monday morning so everyone's still getting up to speed and the standard of drivers is kind of a little bit lower than you'd expect in the evenings um, just because not as many people are playing so you kind of get a mix of A plus and A drivers where in the evenings you'll normally get lobbies that are just full of A plus drivers so Coming through the long left-hander then, we're still unable to do anything here. Uh, we do get a good exit, but again, nothing we're going to be able to do around the outside. We will look to get a little bit of a switch back just in case he ends up wide, but he doesn't. He defends that off quite nicely. And we're just starting to get a bit held up then at this moment in time. And just getting a little bit frustrated. I think we probably could have been potentially pushing towards... Uh, maybe a, a podium slot um, if we hadn't got involved in so much battling at the start of the race but we've got a good exit out of the final corner then we're going to go side by side we don't really want to be on the outside going into turn two but we're going to have to um, we take quite a lot of speed in we unfortunately run a little bit wide then we have to slow down quite a lot as we put a wheel on the gravel and that just allows the Scirocco once again to get past us so still in ninth place then and can we make this place get this move done at some point soon because we're really starting to um, start to compromise our race a little bit here getting stuck behind and not really getting these moves done with much conviction so coming out of that corner then we do have a nice slipstream once again and we'll see if we can send it up the inside he goes though defensive but leaves just a car width so very nice driving from him and we keep it nice and close to the apex and there we go then we get that move done up into eighth place and now we've been released into a little bit of clear air and we're going to look to see if we can make some progress on the cars up ahead it looks like we can still see fifth sixth and seventh so those are going to be the positions we're aiming for uh, by the end of the race as we see a yellow car then and someone else has binned it the Spaniard there been it in the final corner and that promotes us up to seventh place then so jumping forwards or fast forwarding I should say activating the turbo mode as does everyone else and there we go then so coming through the end of lap number seven just a lap and a bit to go then we're right on the back of the French driver there as we clip the gravel and lose a little bit of time yet again but we're still relatively close we might be able to make up this position and get up to sixth place potentially fifth if we have a really good lap so coming out of the final corner then we are obviously going to get the slipstream i don't think the car up ahead is and let's see if we can do anything as we get up towards the end of the start finish straight then so coming right up to the back of him and, and he puts his hazard lights on there so that basically tells me that he's, he's going to let me go. So not 100% sure why he gave up that move so easily. Um, I think possibly he was one of the drivers that sent it uh, a little bit aggressively on us earlier. So that's the only thing 
I can think of really. Um, but yeah, thank you for, for letting us go then. So up into sixth place and it doesn't really look like we're going to be close enough to get a fifth place then as the car up ahead is over a second and a half with just half the lap to go. Zoom in around the end of that then onto the finish straight and we do cross the line in sixth place then. So I was pleasantly surprised with that one. I wasn't expecting much over such a short distance from the back of the grid, but actually really enjoyed it. We got up to sixth place and it was good fun. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon.